AWSI 2023. We're here at the NASH tent with you and Jasmine, the lead kite designer for NASH. Who's got some new boards and new kites for us. Take it away, Ewan. Thanks, Kimmy. And, uh, yeah, so we've got some pretty exciting things this year. Obviously, a lot of things changing at NASH lately. Um, we've seen taken over by Kubus in Holland, who are European dis distributors before, and that's really exciting stuff. Mm -hmm. We've got a lot of cool changes happening, a lot of new people coming on, a lot of new technologies and innovations coming up, especially in the next six months that we're really yeah. excited about. But for now, we've just launched some great new products. And I guess I'll start off with the twin tips as we got them here. Um, some of the things that we're really excited about, one of the technologies that we brought this year is the Keylock Spine. We've added this to a few boards in the lineup. The main one that we're hyped about is the Hero. This is our kind of beginner to intermediate, not to be outgrown, but obviously we're not trying to say it's zero to hero. Well, yeah. it's the hero, but not. <laughs> you're not going to take this if you're the most advanced rider. Yeah. But it's really with the Keylock spine here, giving it a bit more yeah. performance as well. It helps riding up wind for that beginner yeah. rider and locking in and dispersing the chop. And it's really brought this kind of price point board some great performance benefits. Yeah. We also have our Alana board, which is a, a female specific or smaller rider board. What we have with this board is still a very technical bottom shape, but the main thing differences that you'll see to other kind of performance pre ride boards in our line is the width. It's a lot narrower, meaning if you've got a smaller foot or less weight, you can still get it on rail as easily, get your heels nice and close to that heel side edge. And the flex pattern is also a little bit softer, benefiting lighter riders and giving them the same control. So the motion has also had a bit of a facelift this year. We've got this really nice key lock spine as well, giving it really good edging and dispersing the water on landings. It's kind of given a nice new feel to one of our best selling boards over the last 10 years. This is a board that's kind of just a do it all Perfect for a day like yeah. this we've got in the gorge. Really smooth ride, e easy to cruise around on, and you can even push this thing as hard as you know you want in the big air and all that kind of stuff. So a board that we've had in the lineup for a few years is the Monarch, but this year a totally new Monarch, new mold, new absolutely everything. Kind of trying to bring it into the modern age of big air riding. Yeah. It's still that same square outline quite wide so you want to ride this board shorter than other boards you line up so say you ride like a 138 motion you'd probably want to downsize to the 135 monarch or even the 132. it's uh, a lot lighter than our previous monarch it's got really nice technical bottom shaping as well with the key lock spines really nice rail channels here all funneling into like a nice wide tip so if you want to go out and just hold down the maximum amount of power and boost big, the Monarch is your board. And your board? We've got my board, uh, the Traverse, you and Jasmine Pro, fresh, new, old school, Robbie Nat inspired windsurf board graphic. Uh, this board is kind of just your all round performance board for the freestyle park guys, but also it just gives you a new feel to your riding. It's a really long, narrow outline, really playful board, great for calves. Um, it's kind of, we came up with it with this new shape because if you look at other sports and boards, everyone has a big range in surfing. You can go from four foot to 12 foot boards, but in kiting, we're looking at 132 to 138 or 142, which really isn't much difference. So this comes up to a 152, which is the board that I ride the most and I'm not, you know, a really big guy or anything, but it also offers riders who are bigger a performance board. Right. So this is just a really fun, all around, super durable board. It also comes in a standard traverse construction, which is a different graphic and it doesn't have the sintered base and it's got a slightly lighter layout and it's a bit more flexy. Okay. And this one comes with specific 2.8 G10 fins. Yeah. Finally, we've got the drive here. This is a high performance, super responsive, lightweight carbon board. This thing is kind of the board of choice for most of our team big air riders and for the person that just wants the most responsive, nice, comfortable board in the lineup. And you guys redesigned some of your foils? Yeah, so really exciting this year. We've got a 
huge range of new foils. As we're talking kiteboarding, I'm going to go through some of the kite foils that are the foils that are really nice to kite on. In our lineup, we don't like to say anything is too too specific to one discipline. We do have this the couple of kite foils that are specific to kiting. The kite six. This is the 650 with 810 and new to this year the 960 which is a much easier yeah uh early lift foil than we've had before in the kite range these things the 8 650 and 810 are really fast really stable at high speed the lift profile doesn't change no matter what speed you're going at your pressure is always even and really easy to you know predict what's going to happen new this year we've got the new high aspect range Why? this is our 640 the smallest one in the range super high aspect it's about aspect yeah. ratio of 10 so really thin profile as well glides really well i've been loving this on the kite foil for something different just really glidey fast pumps great and the great thing about this is i've been winging on it as well you don't need huge swell or anything as as it is quite efficient and pumpy pumps well you don't need big swell to ride this on the wing and it's a super fast fun foil and we've got the ultra jet which is our kind of all round uh this thing's re this is the 850 the smallest one great to kite on slightly thinner profile than our old jet foils uh but still a nice progressive uh lift profile and really easy to ride this is kind of the entry level foil all the way up to people who don't want a high aspect foil want to stay more in the pocket of the wave maybe this mm -hmm. is really great and then our boards exciting this year we had the microchip last year and this year we've added the macro chip which is a hundred centimeter version of the microchip comes with foot strap inserts it's the stiffest foil board you can get high density foam core full carbon layout um great track system and comes at a really really great price point which I'm not sure on the top of my head but it's surprisingly <laughs> cheap yeah so that's I really cool um and then we have our hover kite line goes from 97 up to 140 this is the 112 kind of my favorite size this is these boards are more beginner intermediate even advanced but um you wouldn't want to learn on a microchip or a macro chip this thing would be great to learn on plenty of foot strap options plenty of places to put your foil nice bit of nose rocker and if you're riding strapped or wanting to do like big air kite foiling and stuff this has that bit wider nose and more nose rocker for touching down yeah so yeah that's right kind of our boards everything under your feet and i guess we can move on yeah to the i guess a new kite so here we have the new pivot this was uh i guess the first kite i was or kite designer on full yeah. from the start till the end we made some really exciting changes this year Basically what we focused on was adding control into the pivot. Not that it wasn't, you know, a great controlled kite before, but we wanted to add control for the big air riders, for the top yeah. end team riders, and also for the intermediate beginner riders. We've really, you know, the changes that we've made have benefited both those demographics. So what we've done in all the kites, we have tuned the draft position and depths and the aspect ratios, but what we've done is we've adjusted them per size. We haven't done a whole blanket change of like shallower draft and higher aspect ratio to older kites. We really fine tuned each one to where we want. So say we start around the nine meter range that had the biggest change in terms of a shallower draft because that kind of kite, it still flies really well. It's not a tiny kite where you need some grunt in it. And a lot of people ride a nine meter quite overpowered and they're looking to do some big air and all that. And because it's efficient and flies forward, you also have a, a lot of D power on the bar. So with your edge control, you can get the kite to sit further forward in the window. And then you have a much more comfortable riding position going into a jump, which not only is important for big air top yeah. level riders, but it really helps you feel confident and controlled going for your first jumps as well. Absolutely. In the smaller sizes, we lowered the uh, draft a little bit but not as much because these sizes if you make them too efficient and fast fold in the window you just kill the power yeah all kites are already so fast and fly fold in the window really easily so you don't need a crazy efficient kite you still want something that feels like it's there and then the bigger sizes we went higher aspect to get them flying a bit further forward in the window 
and you have much better jumps. We also increase the structure into the tips in the bigger kites. So when you're riding overpowered, they don't, you know, they just hold their shape really well. And I was just watching one of the 12s out there before. <laughs> super, super solid. Yeah. But overall, we're really happy with the new changes on the pivot. We've also got the swift tips, which run across all kites. It's our new wingtip construction. So this is for the triad, the boxer, and the pivot. We removed almost all the Dacron out of the wingtip. You can see it oh, runs wow. canopy all the way to the edge here. And we just have the Dacron reinforced on the inside there to uh, keep the back lines in and disperse some flutter. But otherwise, it's actually 30% stronger than our old construction and lighter. So stoked on that. Coming out in April this year, we had the boxer and the triad release. The Boxer has had the same great weight saving techniques as before, the Swift chips, same with the Triad. The Boxer speaks for itself. It's the premier one strut kite on the market. Everyone knows it. Yeah. The Triad, this year we squared off the wingtips a bit. It's made it a little drift, a little better down the line for wave riding, which is something that we've implemented into the Triad since we don't, don't have the slash anymore. Um, it also turns a little quicker as it's slightly lower aspect, but it's still that super easy to ride. Great beginner free ride kite. Takes you all the way up to your jumps and yeah. loops, and it's a great wave riding. So overall, super soaked with the lineup. Lots of new stuff still lots, to come. We've been changes. working really hard around the world now. We're a global company, not just based in Maui, but I've just got back from Maui this morning working on some cool stuff, and yeah, stoked to share it with you all. Awesome. Thank you for your time, Thank you. Woo!